Bet you didn't know there was a third one. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Parent Trap 3. It is celebration week and a half and it is celebration month. If you haven't watched the behind the scenes of the entire celebration, if you haven't watched the giveaway, entered the giveaway, if you haven't watched the ranking the Disney classics, by all means go and do all of those things after you've watched this video. This is celebration week during celebration month where you get a video every single day day. The Parent Trap 3 is a 1989 Magic World of Disney television release. It is directed by Molly Miller, cinematography by Isidore Mankowski, editing by Dwayne Hartzell and Howard Kunin, music by Joel McNeely, and it's written by Jill Donner, Molly, Isidore, Dwayne, Howard, and Joel. I all covered in previous videos. They will be listed and linked in the description. Jill Donner is best known for The Incredible Hulk, Voyagers, Magnum P.I. and Baywatch. The film stars Haley Mills, Barry Bostwick, Joy Creel, Leanna Creel, Monica Creel, and Patricia Richardson. <laughs> Haley Mills plays Susan and Sharon, and I covered her in the video about the parent trap too. The link will be in the description. Barry Bostwick plays Jeffrey Wyatt, and he's best known for the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Megaforce, Spy Hard, and FDR American Badass. Joy Creel plays Megan, and she's best known for The Cell, Ned and Stacy, Anything But Love, and Parent Trap 4. Leanna Creel plays Lisa, and she's best known for The Cell, Offside Freeway and Promptroversy. Monica Creel plays Jesse and she's best known for The Kicks, The Cell, Hawaii Five O, and this. Patricia Richardson plays Cassie McGuire and she's best known for Home Improvement, Strong Medicine, Yuli's Gold, and The West Wing. Mills had no interest again in doing more, but then her Disney show ended and she agreed to do it. The film centers around Susan, I think. I don't know if it's Susan or Sharon. I'm pretty sure it's Susan because I think the last one focused on Sharon. Susan apparently is divorced and she is remodeling a home for a couple who was recently engaged and the man, Barry Bostwick's character, has a set of triplets. This film is significantly better than the second one because the second one was full of like tricking grown men into loving someone who it isn't, and that one was just the definition of cringe. This one, the triplets are having fun doing switching and kind of like parent trapping pretty much one of the triplets' boyfriends, and then the parents are just kind of falling in love. Like, Susan is falling in love with Jeffrey, and he's falling out of love with Cassie, who is Patricia Richardson, who is a particular taste in this movie. I'm sure she'll find someone she's very happy with, but Jeffrey and Cassie do not mesh well, and she doesn't do a good job of being a parent to the triplets, where Susan is a twin, so she gets it, and she doesn't mix them up, and it was cute. It wasn't an amazing movie, but it was so much better than Parent Trap 2 that I was flying. I was soaring. Also, they heavily infer that the triplets mother died they never really actually they talk about her they never say she passed away but they talk about her in the past tense and you are supposed to infer it it's not like she left but they don't say it explicitly and it's not seen on screen and we made that rule a long time ago so unfortunately we are not gonna count this parent death if i ever go back and rewatch some of these movies, or if someone's doing it along with me, count absent parents and parent deaths because our number would be tripled, I feel like. But doesn't count. That's everything I have for The Parent Trap 3. Again, I cannot stress enough that this one is so much better than the second one. They had a little moment where you thought maybe it was gonna touch on the second one, where it was gonna be Sharon was gonna quick pretend to be Susan and like confess her love, but it didn't happen. She just used her lookalike status to get him to go to the garage, which fine, at least, you know, it wasn't the second movie. So this one's better. I think I'll give it like a six. Six twins or triplets, identical people out of 10. Our total movie count is Parent Death Toll and Crack Counter still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. It is Celebration Month and Celebration Week in Celebration Month where you get a video every day until next Friday. 
Are you hype? I'm hype. Make sure you enter the giveaway. You still have time. Go watch the behind the scenes. Go watch me ranking the Disney classics. It's all fun and games, man. I want your opinions. I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until tomorrow, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not sure if you are, so you do, and don't be Cassie about it, I guess. Look at my little Mickey pins. I love my Mickey pins, they're so cute.